my name's Anchel. I'm going to show you how to create this glam party look for your big night out. So I'm going to start with my eyes first. I have actually got my brows already done to speed up the process a little bit. So I've got my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. It's going to act as a really good base for our eyeshadows. And I'm just blending this in with my finger. And this is going to go all the way up to the brow bone. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to start off with a transition shade. A transition shade is something that the other eyeshadows are going to blend into. And I've got my Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Creme Brulee. And I'm taking my blending brush. And this is just going to go into the crease and a little bit above it backwards and forwards. Okay, so for the star of the show, shall we call it, I'm taking MAC Plumage Eyeshadow, just on a flat shader brush, and I'm just going to pat this over the eye. Okay, so that's most of the shadow on. And then I'm just going to take a tapered blending brush, and I am just going to take this along the edge of that shadow. So it's almost kind of gonna sit in the crease of the eye. We are going to add a bit more dimension and texture to the eye. And this is turquoise green. So it's gonna go really nicely against the teal matte eyeshadow. And to intensify this further, I'm just gonna spritz the brush with the product on with a bit of Fix Plus spray. And then, just tilting my head back, I'm just going to place this in the center of the eye. And this is called a spotlight eye, so we're drawing attention to the center of the lid. I'm gonna take a coal liner, and this is just going to go along my lash line. All we're doing is adding a bit of depth to the eye and you can just see that it just looks a lot bigger already. So moving on to the skin, we're going to prep it by priming the face and I have my Prep and Prime primer and this has got a bit of a yellow base to it. So for foundation, I'm using my Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation and I'm just going to pop this on the back of my hand first. And I am going to stipple this onto the skin. Now you can buff your foundation in, but I'm stippling it on so that I get maximum coverage. And in fact, it does actually blend the foundation as well. Also just gonna take it down the bridge of my nose and in between my brows. You don't wanna forget that bit. Just wanna take it along the jawline as well, just so that it blends nicely into your neck. So I'm going to conceal these dark circles now and I have my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer so I kind of just like to fan it out underneath the eyes. And it kind of just goes along the top of the cheekbone as well. I'm also gonna take this down the bridge of my nose. And then I'm also gonna take this on the center of my forehead. This is also gonna go along the cupid's bow on my chin and also just under where I would contour. So then you just want to blend that all out, making sure that there's no lines and you can't see any streaky marks. And I'm just patting this into the skin and then just blending the rest of the highlighted areas out. And then with my foundation brush that I used before, I'm gonna blend over. And this just really pulls it all together. It makes it look like one. 
So then you just want to set all of those highlighted areas in place. So I'm using my translucent powder. So with this, I'm just going to pat on all of the areas that we've highlighted. So back onto the eyes. So I'm gonna take that same matte teal color that we used earlier and just on a pencil brush, I'm going to run that along the lower lash line. And you can take this quite low down as well. It doesn't have to be super close to your lash line. So no glam night out look would be complete without some false lashes. So I am going to apply my Ardell Demi Wispies. So I'm just gonna run some glue along the strip of the lash. The best way to do this is to tilt your head back and look down and that way you can get right in there um, along your lash line. Okay, so you just wanna sit them along your lash line and then tuck them in at the corners and just pushing them onto the lash line. So I'm just gonna warm up my skin slightly and I'm gonna use my bronzer to do this. I'm also gonna take this along the hairline as well, along my temples. And then to contour, I've got my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm just taking a little bit of this second shade and a little bit of the first one because it's got a really good grey tone to it. And then just on an angled brush, I'm gonna work this from the outer corner of my face first and then lightly dust this in. So I also like to contour my nose slightly and just slim it out a little bit. So I'm just gonna pat off any excess on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna work from the top of my brow bone and run my brush down. And then just take it along the sides because this is where I'd like to slim it out most. Okay, so as we've contoured, we're gonna highlight as well. So I'm just gonna take this along the top of the cheekbones. And this is going to really make that contour pop. And then I'm also going to take this just down the bridge of my nose. I'm also going to take this just in the center of my forehead where we did highlight before. And then finally for lips, I'm just going to apply a nude lipstick. So I'm just going to line my lips first. So then I'm just going to apply a nude lipstick. So that's it, a glam look for a night on the town.